Hello YouTube, Shmahoog here with uh, another Minecraft video. I have something cool to show you today. This is a, a fancy creation I have here using redstone with binary. So let's go see what it does. Walk up to the ladder, or walk up the stairs, up to this button, and you can see we have a display right here. It says 1. It says 0, 1. So I click this button, and then... You wait a second, and it says zero two. Then you click it again, and what's it gonna say next? Right there, zero three. Hit it again, all the way to four. Uh, now, oh, oh, little, little, uh, little thing there. Now this is. This is, uh, this doesn't seem very difficult. In fact, uh, it can be done similarly over there in a very small amount of area, but I decided to use binary. And this counter actually goes all the way up to 32, and then it repeats again. So, let me show you how this all works. Alright guys, right here we have the uh, the basic, basically right here is the powerhouse for the whole system that runs on binary. So right here we have five T flip flops. And each uh, T flip flop, as you can see in the previous video of mine, uh, it basically adds in base two. Because when this receives an input, it, it, it goes uh, in between giving power and giving not power, and giving no power. So it's kind of like that. You can see it work. It switches that wool block, switches sides every time it receives power, which alters if this gets power, which brings to this. Every time this gets power, that wool changes, and every time this gets power, and the cycle goes on like that. And it adds up each time, adding a new digit to binary right here. So this would be our, our one digit. So, that's on, and then so let's count, let's count the number here. So we have, oops, we have power here, wait, where do we have power? Okay, we have power at the end, and whatever, I can't do binary that fast, in my head. But anyway, each, each way it makes a signal, and every time this is on, that's a one, and each time it's off, well that's a zero. Now that's all, that's all fine and dandy, except for, uh, this is not, this is not a signal that kind of resembles a number. It resembles binary in a very basic form. So, uh, the trouble is turning in, into a binary signal. So, that's where a lot more stuff comes in. You guys ready to see this? Uh, here we go. There's a little bit of redstone involved in uh in in turning binary into a into a readable signal. And this is this is where it all starts. You've you've uh two main parts. Right here is is the AND gate tower, or the Tower of Power as I like to call it. And there's these wires, I don't really count those as a part. And then there's the actual this is where the the code is display. So, at these towers, each level of the tower is an end gate. Now, each of these towers, it changes every time a new, every time an input is introduced. The, the pattern of the tower changes. You know, so right now it's a, it was at 7, and now it's at 8. You kind of see this. And each level right here represents a different number. And the way this works is each each level powers that one number. And Wesley just joined. Hello. Alright. So each level here is an in, is a uh, is an AND gate with five inputs. And the and the way I need to get this to work is all the inputs. One second, say hello 
to my viewers. Uh, Alright. I'll, I'll link to his channel in the description. Uh, here we go. So, each level is an ant gate. And the way this needs to work is if there's any power on a single level, let me get myself out of torch and green wall. I love you, I love you. There we go, Wesley loves you. So, what there needs to be on each level, and I'll just, uh, I'll turn off this clock I have going. Turn off that clock so you guys don't have to be distracted by it. So this is one. This level is for the number one. And so what I have coded here is at this, in this area of the tower, uh, each of those torches would be on. And anything that represents a zero, the torch is on. Anything that represents the one, the torch is off. And what I need to get is there needs to be, every row needs to be off. So I keep the one uh, as itself. I don't flip the signal. But on anything that's a, uh, anything that's a zero, flip the signal. Because if I didn't, then it, it would, uh, if, if I didn't, then it wouldn't work. It would read out a different number. So you can kind of see what I mean right here. You can kind of see how that's one. You know, this is one, zero, or well, zero, 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 one. And now I go up a level. Actually, this might get a little bit more confusing. Since uh, the levels of a torch tower alternate like this, the other side is the opposite. So every every zero is is not flipped. And the the ones are flipped so that they are a zero. And then I'll make it so there's an input. So let me go to the active level, which is uh, this level right here. So you can see there's a signal going to that torch, that torch, and that torch. But for the specific level, for the specific level, I don't want any. I don't want any uh, power going in, so the uh, AND gate will work. So I flip the signal. So that's a 1, but I flipped it, so it kind of looks like a 0. And this is also a 1, but I flipped it, so it's a 0. And this is a 1, but I flipped it, so it's a 0. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I do a, uh, I do a tutorial, I'll move on. I do a tutorial video for this, if there's interest out there. I could do a tutorial for an eight digit one which I did over there and that's a lot larger than it needs to be um, but it's pretty simple you know anyone could do it with a little little bit of understanding I feel like anyone could this is pretty simple stuff so this area is just wires you could see going down to bring the signal from the tower to the ground and then along the ground what I have is, well, you can see right here at the display, each, each section of the display is put into its own wire. So it's pretty, it's pretty obvious right there. So this top section is the last wire there. This one is, this, this little section right here is second to last. This one is third to last, you know. This, this one is, uh, I guess it's fourth to last. Yeah, this this one here is fifth to last, sixth to last, and well, this one's first. Pretty simple stuff. I did that for both the digits here. And it, it makes these long strings of, uh, of area that there can be an input. Now, each level I have coded, so these are actually flipped. So when there's no signal coming in at one level, which I'll, I'll go to the signal. I'll go to the, uh, to the active level. This is the active one, so there's no signal, which means the torch is turned on, which activates that one row in that one section. And so you can see how this works. I have torches set up. So this would be one section of the tens digit, another section of the tens, 
another section of the tens digit, another section of the tens digit, another section of the tens digit, and uh, and then these are sections of the ones digit, and those are all just to light up. Those are all just to light up an area accordingly, if that makes sense. So next, I want to show you something fast. I'm gonna time set 40,000 and I'm gonna put this on a loop so you can kinda see how this code goes flip that on hit this and you're gonna see the code all changing you can kinda you can see it from here let's, let's look at each individual part of the tower I don't know where it's going to be going. Actually, is it going? Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's going up. You can see right there. All those inputs are off. Watch this one change. It'll be next. All these turn off. Soon. Wait, one second. All these turn off, which means there's an input here. Goes down the wire, and then that makes... That section at the end turn off, you can see right here and that goes down turning one section over here on and then this section which is all in this huge wire now I know my explanations here don't really make too much sense but I assure you that it will it would make sense if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this eight digit well, all right it goes up to eight and that's it uh which is a little more simple. This is actually way bigger than it needs to be. I could compact this a bunch and it's just it's really simple stuff over here. That one goes up to thirty two so I had to do thirty two different levels right there and thirty two different areas it It was a lot of repetitive work. So I'm going to leave you guys off with uh, this cycling through each number. Uh, and I'll fast forward it. And then I'll play it to music. And here we go.